Well, we've got some breaking news here at InfoWars today. We've been covering the story about the battle for Nevada, the standoff between the Bureau of Land Management and cattle rancher Cliven Bundy. So far, they say the dispute has been over grazing rights. Well, the truth has been hiding in plain sight the entire time InfoWars put the pieces of the puzzle together. Breaking, Senator Harry Reid is behind the Bureau of Land Management land grab of the Bundy Ranch. Now, Harry Reid and his oldest son, Rory, are both involved in an effort by a Chinese energy giant, ENN Energy Group, to build a $5 billion solar farm and panel manufacturing plant in the southern Nevada desert. Now, his son, Reed's son, is a lawyer with a prominent Las Vegas firm that is representing ENN and helped it locate a 9,000-acre desert site. And just where is this 9,000-acre desert site? Well, it's just along that swath of land that just so happens to be where all of those ranchers have been bought out or forced out. And Cliven Bundy is the last rancher standing. His property just so happens to be the exact location where they want to put those solar panels. Now, we uncovered these documents. They had been removed from the Bureau of Land Management's site by none other than the director of the Bureau of Land Management, who also happens to be Harry Reid's former senior advisor. So the truth is stranger than fiction. And joining me now to break this down is Alex Jones. Well, Alex, this story has just gone national overnight. The mainstream media has swooped in. They're trying to make it about the militia and how there's going to be this standoff and guns. But the story has taken a sharp left here today, breaking at InfoWars. What is going on? That's right. Left, as in the kleptocratic senator, already known for being incredibly corrupt, the guy that runs uh, not just Las Vegas but Nevada as a whole, uh, the man who took his chief of staff and made him the head of the BLM a few years ago, and it was a big controversy. Hiding in plain view, Senator Harry Reid. Infowars.com discovered this. I put the reporters on it. I said the Democrats locally are making threats. They're saying, better bring body bags. How dare you protesters come? They're so angry. They're so vicious, even though it's unpopular. There's got to be money involved here. There's got to be some land grab, energy deal, something going on, development. I don't know what it is. But if that's involved, Harry Reid's running it because nothing happens in that state that he doesn't run. He's a kingpin. Well, Watson dug into it, Nemo dug into it, Kit Daniels found it. Hiding in plain view, and Kit found documents that were removed off the BLM website but on Google's uh, archive. Mm -hmm. And we also found all the mainstream news articles that I'm gonna show folks here on the uh, overhead camera. U.S. Senator Reid, son, combined for China firm's desert plan. So you've got that article from August 2012, almost two years ago. You've got more rich Chinese companies buying U.S. property, Financial Times, about how uh, they were buying a 125-mile swath mm -hmm. from the state and others uh, from that southern area down by Vegas and, and, and where the uh, solar farms going right on his ranch up into the north. And we have the documents listing Mr. Bundy as the only guy that wouldn't sell. Right. So right at the key spot where they want to put uh, the, the solar farm is his land. Here it is. How Harry Reid delivered a 235-mile-long power line to Nevada, right up the state. Well, he didn't deliver that. He stole everyone's uh, land. Uh, absolutely. And, and they're not being honest about it. They tried to buy the property 10 years ago and again four years ago from Bundy. Now they're just saying, you don't own it, we're taking it. For those that don't understand ranching, if it's public land before it was even a state, he his family has grazing rights and forage rights on it. They have to buy those rights away, not charge him to use it. They claimed it was a desert tortoise. Turns out they're right. killing the tortoises. Uh, the government is. So uh, here it is. Cost conflicts arise in Reed's push for green power. Now, I'm getting to the breaking news right now. There's the background. This is hiding in plain view. We dug deeper and, and, and found a New American Magazine investigation that dug deeper. And we found the document that they'd removed off their site saying Cliven Bundy must be removed. And this is up on Infowars.com in the article. And it goes on to say non-governmental organizations, that's who's running this land takeover, have expressed concern that the regional migration strategy of Dry Lake Solar Energy Zone utilities, uh, Gold Butte, and the location for off-site migration for impacts from solar development, and that those... Uh, restoration activities are not durable with the presence of trespass cattle. So, 
He won't sell. They just say, you know what? Who needs laws? Who needs state laws, federal laws, common law? We're going to tear out your water windmills. We're going to tear out your water facilities, your pipes. We're going to have snipers. We're going to taser people. And, and, and the public's so dumb, even Fox News won't tell people. They go, well, does he have rights or doesn't he? Right. It's cut and dry. This is well known. This is outrageous. He has the water rights, the forage rights, the surface rights. And I guarantee you, they'd have come to him and said, we're going to put in some solar panels and stuff. He'd say, sure, develop the area. And, you know, they put fences around there except for the cattle. No, they just want him out. This is happening all over America. The article breaking at Infowars.com at about 2.30 today, DrudgeReport.com, the biggest news aggregator in the world, had uh, linked to it. We've got some screenshots of that. And now it's already hitting everywhere. I don't know how they're going to get out of this with the Justice Department, people calling for him to resign or impeach or for him to be arrested in Congress, all their corruption, all his con uh, connections to corruption. Harry Reid's being protected by the Justice Department. This is cut and dry. A Chinese government controlled mega firm involved in land grabbing all over the West, going in and getting 600,000 acres that their family's been on since 1877. They could claim ownership of it, by the way, under common law. They just have the grazing rights registered with the state since it was a state uh, earlier in the last century. This is cut and dry. So the headline here, breaking, Senator Harry Reid behind BLM land grab of Bundy Ranch, BLM attempted cover-up of Senator Reid, Chinese government takeover of ranch for solar farm. And the documents are now posted for everybody there, but also linked to the Google archive if anybody out there is in denial. We're going to show all those to folks. It's up to the viewers out there and up to real media. I don't care what you call yourself, left, right, conservative, liberal, constitutional, libertarian. I don't care where you are. This is about the evil Chinese government that has literal slave factories and Foxcom suicide nets and forced abortion and mobile execution vans telling Hollywood what they can put out in movies now. Uh, buying up our country or just getting public land. This is what happens in globalism where under the IMF and World Bank, third world countries have their public lands and the people that indigenously are on those handed over. This is what Agenda 21 is. This is what Bill Clinton's executive order and my first film, America Destroyed by Design, was about. In Utah, uh, uh, near there, they put two million acres off limits that had clean burning coal on it. First, they kicked the ranchers off that so they couldn't use it. Then they put it off limits so you couldn't mine the coal to double the value of Chinese clean coal. Bill Clinton did that deal back in 1997. It was a big story. It's the same thing. And the Chinese government, with the Nature's Conservancy, Sierra Club, you name it, they're one of the prime movers in this dirtiness. And the Republican leadership, Leanne, doesn't want to stop this because they're involved in it too. Right. They went after Clinton for you know sex in the Oval Office because that was a limited thing they could go after him for that didn't connect to other people. So it's going to be up to us to force John Boehner and others to cover it. What's your take on this, Leanne? Well, I think it's we had such a premonition about this. I think one of our very first headlines when we were covering this was Red Dawn. The protesters there was a Red Dawn scenario. I mean, and now to find out that this the Chinese are involved in this somehow. I mean, just it's it's insane. It's but, literal Red Dawn. Yeah, I mean, and that's what's going on here. And this is so huge. It's it's Agenda 21 in people's faces. Now they can see how they're using these Endangered Species Act to take people's property rights away away from them. That's what Bundy's saying. It's not you know this is this isn't about his cattle. This is about states' rights. It, it's about freedom. And I'm curious, how do you think the mainstream media is going to? be able to spin this now because they've obviously swooped in they're trying to make this about you know that this there's a standoff and bundy's you know illegally occupying this land and how are they going to spin it now well i want to say about? something six months before it happened i saw a youtube video with the hatari militia out of michigan people can go read the news articles about it. they can see the videos when i said it then when it happened and i said that group's infiltrated by feds i said that video is produced with federal direction or by feds, they're going to set them up, I'm warning them. Turned out they've been under surveillance for two years. On the way to the Knob Creek machine gun shoot-off, they got them to say if the UN took over, we may have to fight. Now, a federal judge ordered their release and said it was all set up and they weren't planning terrorism. So most militias are great people, but almost all of them, if they're underground, are infiltrated. And I've been seeing some videos and some things put out that, to a trained eye, I mean, I've been doing this 19 years, instantly screams fed or someone being handled. 
Right. There's a bunch of militias out there. I'm sure most of them are good people. But when you try to say, hey, look out for feds in your ranks, they always go, shut up, traitor, you're the fed. Right. Because, you know, they're good Americans, but not very high IQs sometimes being led by federal operators. Right. They don't realize they're being provocateur. Yeah. And, and, and again, I've defeated the major federal movements with God's help and everybody's prayers and support. I don't want to get into it. I could write a book. No one would believe it. I mean, the stuff behind the scenes, the, the infiltrations, the setups, all of it. It's grandma praying for me. It's the only reason I'm alive. And we just appreciate the courage of you, the reporters, you know, being here and going through this. Uh, it, it, it is one hell of a ride. Yeah, thank and, goodness for David Knight being there. Well, we've already had retired high-level military personnel uh, that we checked into or who they say they are out there actually warning Bundy and others. So we're going to stop them at every level, and we're going to try to stop violence from happening uh, because we're going to kick their butt in the info war, Leanne. Mm. The enemy wants to get this violent, and they want to be able to paint us as violent. And quite frankly, under 1775, Lexington, Concord, you know, hey, they said on that hill, we don't want a war to start, but if they start it, let the war start here. If they shoot people or attack them or whatever, folks have a right to defend themselves. It's just that it isn't about the physical confrontation. It's about the fraud of the Chinese government and Harry Reid coming in to steal this and the fact that this has been in plain view for two years. I guarantee you CNN knew, MSNBC knew. They only showed up today, two weeks after we broke this, and Drudge put it out nationwide a week and a half ago, when the inner stage left, the militia pops up. Exactly. Uh, with some guys literally in clown outfits. You can pretty much see what's going on here. Yeah. Well, how angry do you think those cowboys are going to be now that they know <laughs> the communist China is behind all of this? I mean, they have been... True cowboys out Real there. cowboys have been riding in, getting the cows from the feds. The feds can't stop them. They're coming out with guns on horseback. Cowboys saying, you know, go ahead and draw your hand. No, it, it, this is real. Those are the real militia. And again, there's there's great militia in this country as well. Mm -hmm. Most of them call themselves a local shooting club. And, and and they're politically involved. They wear suits and ties. I mean, I'm I'm a man of able age. I mean, I am in the militia. Every, every man from 18 to depending on the area of the Constitution, 44 to 46. I'm getting so old in a few years I won't be mandatory in the militia. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm here. I train 50 cows, whole nine yards to defend myself and the country from enemies foreign and domestic. It's just I'm just saying this goes on in the militia, so we've got to watch that as well. But back to Reed, this is huge. Closing comments, Leanne. I'm just, I'm just so interested to see how this is going to, how this is going to, roll out over the weekend. David Knight is there on the scene. And I'm, I'm interested to see what Clive and Bundy thinks about these documents because we're making sure that he has access to these as well. Seeing how far back this plan has been for, for one man. I mean, I'm sure he had no idea being the last rancher standing. What I mean, this was huge. That's right. Over 15 years, they've been harassing him, trying to drive him out, driving people to have heart attacks and die young, buying out some 10 years ago, tried to buy him out, four years ago, and then now he made a stand, the people came, and if we just start standing up, this is what's animating. It's not exhausting to go fight tyranny. It's exciting, at least for me. You've been here now a year. What's it been like, Leanne? Well, it's been incredibly exciting, but today it just reiterates again how I am a part, by being a part of InfoWars, I am helping to drive the narrative and being able to see behind you know, the curtain and see how the mainstream media is struggling so hard to fight us in the info war, and they are losing the info war, and it's just exciting. And that's it, and, and we're just average folks, but we're able to more and more put the truth in and change mm -hmm. the world narrative, national narrative, because we've been fighting. And it just shows how you are part of the info war out there. We all are, we have power. The enemy tells us we will be assimilated, we have no power all day, because they know how much power we've got. Well, great job hosting the news tonight, Leanne. Go ahead and take us out. Thanks, Alex. All right, well, we will continue giving you coverage of what's happening there in Nevada. David Knight is still on the scene. You can follow us at Real Alex Jones on Twitter. We'll be updating this story throughout the weekend, as well as updating all the articles on Infowars.com. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the news tonight, and we'll see you here again Monday at 7 p.m. Central. Tune in to PrisonPlanet.tv for an extended broadcast.